I'm really excited about a lot of the innovation we see happening around decision making um, and speed of decision making, especially in times of crisis. You know, something that we think about a lot is climate resilience, and we're going to have more and more extreme weather and fires and droughts and storms. And a lot of that stuff just happens pretty quickly, and people have to make very rapid people or businesses very rapid decisions on how you respond to that. You know, whether it's a, a company making a decision about their assets or their aircraft or you know, people about their lives and do I stay and go or, you know, a utility in the middle of a storm and, you know, how do I get my grid back, back up and running quickly? And we're just seeing lots of use cases around smarter AI influencing that decision making, let people make decisions on the fly much more quickly. And, you know, just examples of utilities being able to have a layer that can automatically analyze the calls into the call center, people filling out a form on their website as it comes in to rapidly kind of triage, you know, is this a problem? Is it a down power line? Where is it? Do I need to send a crew? Um, even in, in advance leading up to those things, you know, AI modeling for the storm that everyone says is coming to Florida, you know, where do we think it's going to hit and use very detailed sort of digital twin modeling of my grid to say based on all the storm projections, you know, here's the parts of my power infrastructure that might get knocked out. These specific lines, these specific power lines, you know, and poles, these transformers, and let me pre-position some equipment and crews where I think that's happening so we can get up to speed more quickly. Um, so this is just a couple examples, but we see, we see a ton around just operational decision-making influenced by AI that just lets people get to answers much more quickly than, than you can, you know, humans can on their own.